Hollywood has successfully taken Harriet Tubman's story and flipped the script entirely in order to retell history. They have successfully made the oppressors the heroes and the victims the bad guys. And instead of telling the truth about slavery and revealing what really transpired on those plantations, namely the slave breeding farms that I just mentioned above, or buck breaking, rape, abuse, or any other unspeakable horror that has never been shown on film, Hollywood decided to avoid all of that completely in favor of telling a pack of lies about a black bounty hunter and a white savior that never existed. This is insanity. And at the same time, this is the omnipotent power of Hollywood, the media, and Europeans. And if anyone at home has any doubts about what the hell I'm saying, all one needs to do is look at this movie for proof. This movie has successfully proven that Hollywood, the media, and Europeans have the power to murder you, rape you, steal from you, oppress you, and then rewrite the story with themselves as being the hero. Now, I've said this off camera to S. Enrique, and it looks like I'm going to have to say it to all of you at home. This is why knowing history is so important. And this is why black people need the opportunity and the outlets to tell their own story. Because apparently, these people have no respect, honor, and integrity. And I would even go as far as to say that they are physically incapable of telling the truth. And for the people at home who don't understand how idiotic and damaging this Harriet Tubman movie narrative is, let me give you two real life examples. Back in November, there was a movie out in theaters called Midway, which was about the attack on Pearl Harbor. Can you imagine if Hollywood wrote the story in a way where instead of the Japanese attacking Pearl Harbor, a white military pilot went rogue, betrayed his own people, and bombed Pearl Harbor? And at the end of the movie, a Japanese man by the name of Bigger Chan kills him and saves America? Huh? 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 Can you imagine that? How the hell would that sound? Let me give you another example. Can you imagine watching Schindler's List and instead of making the Nazi SS officer Amon the bad guy in the story, the writers decided to make him the hero who actually helped Schindler save Jewish people from a concentration camp? Now, how would that sound? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? Shit? Now, I have a serious question for Hollywood. If no other historical movie paints the victims as the bad guys and the bad guys as the victims, why the hell was this done in Harriet Tubman's first movie? And now that we are on this subject, let me point something else out that really pisses me off. Can you imagine all of the people out there who really don't know Harriet Tubman's story? Can you imagine all of the little kids who are going to see this film and believe that this is what really transpired during slavery? If I didn't know any better, I'd say that this film was created with the sole purpose of rewriting history for a new generation of children. And before anyone states that I'm reaching too far, all one needs to do is look at Cynthia Revo's Hot 97 interview where she clearly stated that she wanted kids to go see this film. For, like, I feel like this film is for a 12 year old. It's, it's, it's for families. We wanted, we wanted people, to come, people to come and see it because I think there, there are many films that focus on the brutality of slavery. But it means that your kids can't come with you to see these stories. And the fact is, these, because it's not taught, often you can bring your 13 year old you can bring your 12 year old to come and see this and they won't be traumatized by it now originally i used to have a serious problem with cynthia revo due to her blatant disrespect towards african americans on twitter but after her involvement with this film i can now say for a certainty without a shadow of a doubt that i hate her look it's one thing if you want to sell your own people out for money and commit treason by participating in this film cynthia but don't try to indoctrinate children with this racist propaganda just don't you know damn well that this movie isn't historically accurate in the slightest. So why on earth are you advocating for kids to go and see it? I mean, let's be serious here. What do you think kids will learn from watching Bigger Long beat a black woman to death with their bare hands? What do you think kids will learn from omitting slavery from this film? What do you think kids will learn from seeing a white savior in a Harriet Tubman film that never existed? I'm sorry, my bald-headed friend, but slavery was not this PG-13 BS that you're trying to perpetuate. In case you're not aware, slavery was single-handedly the most vicious act in American history, period. And that's an understatement. How dare you try to destroy and alter Harriet Tubman's legacy? How dare you try to alter what really transpired during that time so that way you can sell tickets to children? And again, while I'm on the subject of Cynthia Revo, it would be remiss of me not to mention something else that she said during her Hot 97 interview. Take a look. My my director is an African-American woman and we both did the research together. Pause. What was that, Cynthia? I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Let me hit the rewind button so y'all can hear that again. Let me hit the rewind button so y'all can hear that again. My my director is an African-American woman and we both did the research together. Did you guys just hear what she just said? You did research. You did research. You did research. 
Now let me stop the interview in order to point something out. T turn the camera back on me, ass. T turn the camera back on me so I can go in on this chick. What part of history did you review, Cynthia? What part of history did you research? Because I just proved to everybody at home and to you that this entire film was made up. And in case you forgot what I just mentioned, let's review. Number one, it was completely illegal for blacks to own guns, Cynthia. Number two, Bigger Long never existed, Cynthia. Number three, Gideon never existed, Cynthia. Number four, no white man ever saved Harriet Tubman, Cynthia. So once again, I'll reiterate, what part of history did you research? Now take a look at the picture on the left of Cynthia Revo's portrayal of Harriet. And take a look at the real life Harriet Tubman on the right. As you can clearly see, Cynthia Revo looks terrified in every single still. Now take a look at the right of the real life Harriet Tubman. Does she look scared? Does this lady look like she feared anybody? Look at how she clutches her hands together like a boss. Look at that expression on her face. You can tell that she means business. She's in control. She's powerful. She's confident. So once again, Cynthia, how did you look at this picture and equate this picture to that picture? Your performance is completely off. 